Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a collab video and a face-off and this face-off is created by Danielle Schmidt. I will leave her channel up here and down in the description. But I am doing a face-off with two very good friends for me, of me, for me here on YouTube. It is Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and Prue from Prue LaRue. I will of course leave their channels up here as well and also down in the description and also their videos. So we are doing a face-off and I don't really know why we haven't collabed before, the three of us, but we are doing it now and we are doing a face-off with the three palettes from Kaleidos Makeup, so the whole Futurism collection. And we choose two colors each from the palette, so we have six colors to play with. So I think I will swatch the colors for you and then I will tell you a little bit more about Prue and Annette when I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, I think we just swatch this and in the Kaleidos, of course in the Kaleidos, in the Sci-Fi Green, and this one we chose three colors. I never know how to hold it. We chose these two and this one. In the cyber bronze we chose this glitter, no, this silver shimmer shade. And in the astro pink we took these two. I really love these palettes if you didn't know. So in the sci-fi green it is these three colors and then the one from the cyber bronze is this one and from the astro pink it is these two and I think I know what I want to do I think it became an interesting color story so it will be fun to see what I'm creating and it will also be so fun to see what Annette and Prue is going to do but these are the colors we got so these three are from Sci-Fi Green, Cyber Bronze and Astro Pink. So I will take away the swatches, figure out exactly what, what I want to do and then we just hop into this makeup. Okay, so I think we just get started and I will start with this one in Sci-Fi Green and take this in my crease. And okay, if I'm going to say some words about both Annette and Prue we can start with Annette because I get to know Annette first. I have followed Annette for... I think she didn't even have 100 subscribers when I started to follow her. So I have been there her whole journey. Almost. And I... She is the exact same person. Like, she hasn't changed. Of course, everybody changed a little when... You get bigger and you get like more comfortable in front of the camera, but she is still the same sweet, funny person that she has always been. And I think that we are pretty like as persons, as people. And I think we would get along great in real life. I think I've said it every time I have talked about Annette, but I really think we would be having pretty fun if we ever met in person in real life so you should definitely check Annette out if you haven't we do the same things she plays more with I want to say more with single shadows than I do and more first impressions so if you like what I'm doing you will love what she's doing and then Prue I found Prue through Annette. I think there you did a collab together and then I start to follow Prue and it's the same with Prue. I think we will get along so good in real life. She is so sweet and so supportive and why do you have to live in Australia? And Annette, why do you have to live in the US? We live in totally different time zones <laughs> part of the world but Prue she is such a sweet person I I am so glad that I find Prue and I am so glad that we are friends as well 
and yeah, Prue does the same things that me and Annette do. So if you like, if you like me, I think you would really enjoy Prue as well. Okay, so the mustardy, I love this shade, is down, and now I think I'm going to take. No, I'm going into the astro pink and take this one. This staining shade. I love this shade though, but it stains so much. I think it's the only one that stains in this palette, and I'm going to take it on my lid. Almost my whole lid, but I'm going to take another shade out here. But I put this down. And this is so freaking pigmented. And I'm so glad that I made my start to do videos in English because if I haven't done it, I. Yeah, maybe I would have been friend. No, I don't think I have. I don't think I have met either Prue or Annette, so. I love that. With my channel in English. It's going to be so fun to see what they are doing. Because in some way I think we are pretty alike when it comes to like how we do our makeup and our styles, but at the same time we are so different. So it's going to be so fun to see what they are doing. And now I'm just going in with my crease color again to blend a little bit. And then I take this brush to blend it here. Then I'm going in with the black one from Sci-Fi Green and I will take it out here. And this green is so... this green... this black is so good. And Annette is actually one of the people... is the person that made me start to use black. Because I have always... I have always want to use black eyeshadow, but I have always been afraid of it because it's black and if you fuck it up, you fuck it up for good. For good, for real. And I think I fucked this up. Okay, maybe some blending can fix this. Okay, so I will take the brush that I took this. I don't even know what shade it is. Other shade and take some more and try to smooth out the edge. Take this one as well and put it over the black because I really love this over something else and I don't know if I just can put it over or not or if I have to Braid or something, I will try to just press this over black and I'm taking a brush that I don't usually use. Maybe that's a bad idea. So I take <laughs> this duochrome or what now this is this is beautiful shade and just put it over here and maybe I should have taken some glitter glue or maybe this is working. I think this is working. And I just press it over the black, but I also take it a little bit on this fuchsia color. And it feels like this was making a better blend. I love to put this, this one over a black, it's like my fave. And this became so, so dark, but I think I am satisfied with a lid like this. It feels a little bit like dirty, so I go in with more shades. But I think I like it. It looks so freaking dark right now. I think it's a little because of this fallout. But I think I 
actually like this. I think this looks pretty cool. I am just like now, how am I going to take the two last colors to this? I think I know how. So I will fix the other eye, fix my base and my brows and then I will come back and we try to incorporate the green and the silver shimmer into this look. So yeah, I will do the other eye and then I will be back. So I'm back. And we are going to do the under eyes. And I have two shades left. I have this one from the Cypher Green and this one from the Cyber Bronze. And I guess you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this from the Cypher Green and put it on my lower lash. And I will take it almost the whole way. I don't know if this is going to match my lid, but right now I I don't have a choice. And I also want to fix like this because I, when I took my <laughs> fallout away, I made it strong. Hmm, there, and I don't want that. And I think I will go in with the black on the fluffier small brush and just try to blend it out a little bit more I think we just have to live with it and then for the last shade this silver I will of course have it in my inner corner and I hope it will go good with the green and the fuchsia color. Okay, so I will take this silver shade and I will spray it because I don't want any fallouts. I don't think I actually need to spray it, but it's it feels like a bad idea to take that risk when I have the setting spray here, so I don't know what I think about this. I think I want to find the right brush and blend it a little bit here. I don't mind if the silver shade comes up onto this fuchsia shade. Okay, I think that it it feels like it looks a little bit strange in the camera. Like it's a super hard edge around here. Maybe I just need something in my waterline, it can be that easy. Okay, so I am finished with all the shadows and I really, I really don't like, I don't like that inner corner that much. It feels like it's, I just don't like it that much. But I will put something in my waterline, put on mascara and a lipstick and then I will be back with the finished look. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I took Fast Lane from Colourpop, that's just a dark green shade and for my lips I took third eye from Colourpop it is one of their uh, matte lipsticks and I think it goes pretty good with the look I didn't want to take something that took away the tension from the eyes because the eyes are pretty dark even though I don't really care but the video is about the eyes so this is my face off look with the Kaleidos palettes and if you wanted to know which shade I have used um, I will try to not forget one of them so this one and then these two from the sci-fi green from the cyber bronze it was this silver shimmer and from astro pink it was these two and I think I like this look if I could have chose, I don't think I would have taken this shimmer in my inner corner. I think I maybe have taken something else. But I am I am pleased with the look and it's going to be so fun to see what Annette and Prue has done. And don't forget to check them out. They are 
up here and also down in the description. And this was so fun to do this collab. I don't know why we haven't done a collab before because it felt so natural that we would do a collab together. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and don't forget to check them out. And yes, I think that was all. I think I'm going to just sip it now and go to watch Annette and Prue's videos. So yeah, I really hope you liked this and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!